Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of November the 30th to December the 7th. I can't believe I'm saying December already. So many people are out scurrying around already at this time of the celebration season. I too have a gift for you my friends. Uh, my celebration gift to you is please go to my website uh, www. Brenda Terrell, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. And when you go in there, you will notice uh, that my readings now are reduced by 25% <clears throat> for the 30, the 60, and the, the, pardon me, for the 30, the 45, and the 60 minute readings. Um, you will uh, find that this will be in effect for the month of November and all of December. I hope you enjoy my gift as much as it was for me to give it to you. We start our week, Scorpio, on Monday with a water card. And you have been given the king of water. This is telling me that right now you need to start opening your heart up to those around you. Uh, and um, it's telling me that you're going to be receiving some information and some advice. And it's going to be trustworthy and heartfelt advice coming from someone that you know. Um, they're telling me that at this time of the year, too, some of you are thinking about doing something charitable, helping some family out or someone who um, is less fortunate as you are yourself. Uh, some way you're going to be doing some charitable uh, uh, little random act of kindness for someone coming up at the beginning of the week. On Tuesday, my friend, you've been given a fire card, and this is the aid of fire, and it's telling me that in that you've got something going on that is coming in very, very quickly to you. Events are moving at a very fast pace, and they're telling me that the, the delays that you've been experiencing as of late are now over. There's many things happening at once coming in on Tuesday for some of you, Scorpio. On Wednesday, crowning your week, Scorpio, you've been given an air card. Now, the air cards have to do with communication with people around us and with the justice and injustice that we're experiencing in our lives and also uh, it can have to do with legal issues uh, popping up. This is all about you speaking your own truth and being confident about it, okay? Uh, if you're having a problem with an issue, uh, something you're dealing with in your life that you can't handle on your own, it's saying that you need to seek out the advice of other professionals that can guide you with their wisdom and their knowledge. Um, it's time to balance your mental and your emotional uh, uh, parts of yourself right now when you're uh, on Wednesday when you um, are going to be dealing with these issues. On Thursday, my friend, the lovers. Well, we all know what the lovers represent. It re represents two people in an intimate relationship, a couple. And uh, But mainly what this, uh, this card uh, is telling us is that you need to carefully weigh your decisions uh, when it comes to being in one of these types of relationships and being in a very intimate relationship. It's all about communication. That's key when you when you have uh, a significant other and being able to communicate uh, peacefully. And uh, it's all about developing trust for your partner as well. Um, it is a big decision about your life right now, and you're going to be sitting back, they're telling me, weighing your options like you've never done before. Um, but they're saying you need to consider your choices carefully when you start to make that decision, um, because there's a definite need for balance, okay? So, this card is about marriages, it is about weddings, and it is about the return to good health. On Friday, my friend, you've been given an Earth card, and the Earth card that you've been given is the Four of Earth. Ah, oh, this is that card again with the dual meaning. It has to do with uh, spending your money on one hand as fast as you're making it and rewarding yourself with little luxuries that, by all means, you're worthy of uh, having in your life. But you need to remember that you have to balance that and allocate enough for your other um, your other financial commitments that you need to honor at the end of the month. So be careful with how much money you're spending, my friend. Now, the other part of this card is there are those that save for the rainy day, and they're almost referred to as money hoarders. I hate to use that term because I, I really admire people who can do this, but um, it's um, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy, as they would say. So you need 
to be able to enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor and all your hard work that you put out there. Uh, don't just work for that paycheck and toss it in the bank for a rainy day. You need to enjoy some of it. And what they're saying here is they're referring to charity. That's the word they're using with this card. And so, especially this time of year, my friend, giving to those less fortunate in the form of some charity that you can do uh, is definitely going to make you feel more enriched and as though you have almost gifted yourself. Now, the other meaning of this card is good business decisions coming up. So some of you are involved in business right now at work and uh, there's all these decisions that you're having to come up with. Uh, know that they will be uh, done well and they will be good decisions. On Saturday, my friend, you've been given the moon card. Moon and sun, they've been coming up quite a bit in these readings. So this is all about listening to your own intuition, going within yourself and trusting your own intuition when you're dealing with any situations in your life. Feelings of insecurity are uh, surrounding you right now is what they're telling me. But they're stemming from, excuse me, irrational or unreal concerns. So um, stop worrying, okay? Stop being insecure. Stop thinking that things aren't going to work out uh, the way they should. Perhaps not the way you want, but the way that the universe says that they really should work out. Um, know that you're uh, that that you need to seek within yourself your own self awareness to overcome any past blocks that have held you back, okay, in the past. And you're going to be able to awaken to your own truths about yourself you've kept hidden from others. But the main thing here is to release any fears that are holding you back. This is all about important psychic insights that you're going to be experiencing as well. Yes, there are events going on behind the scenes, they're telling me. But please, please, please know that you truly are a brilliant light. On Sunday, my friend, you've been given another Earth card. So this Earth card is the Seven of Earth, and it's telling me that you've been busy doing something with your business, with uh, your place of business, with your job, with your profession, with your career, and that you've been uh, sending out either proposals or um, ads, uh, something to do with being in business, and that you have planted some seeds. So right now, there's a temporary pause, and you're going to be waiting for any action to take place since you've done this. But remember, these are seeds, and they're tiny, and they take time to germinate and come through that dense soil and reach for the light. So know that um, your worrying is unnecessary because uh, you're not going unnoticed, and that these seeds they refer to were well planted. So, my friend, the final card for this uh, tarot reading is this wonderful oracle card that my guide sent you today. Be honest with yourself. So this is telling me you've had a lot of issues you've been dealing with uh, in your romance, uh, spending money and uh, uh, things like that that have come into play here, being busy with your job, um, uh, insecurity issues and whatever. You need to be honest with yourself. This card basically says that. So look within yourself, okay? Your personal self and be honest with yourself when you've got to make any major decisions uh, or choices this week. So what this card says is look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation you're dealing with. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Know that your guides and your angels are around you all the time. They're totally, totally aware of what's going on in your life. And you know who they are. So know that they're still standing there for you and they're not going to desert you. And uh, they're there to help you through this. Lean upon them for, for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. I wish you a great remainder uh, to today, Scorpio, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote today, and that quote is, Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice, lying, and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in this circle of light for you, my friends.